Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting of episode of Divinity Original Sin. This is this week's This Can't Be Real and What Can't Be Real, how awesome this game is. Last time we uh, continued on our quest to solve Jake's murder. It was very, very cool indeed. Now we're going to go talk to uh, our friend over here. Aureus, uh, just, uh, he's, you know, in charge of the, the guard around here, and he'll, he'll be sure to tell us, uh, about exactly what's been, uh, what's been going on, and he'll make sure, you know, and maybe he'll give us a little bit, uh, you know, a journal update, but before we do that, I'm gonna go to my inventory here, and I found a bunch of cool things, uh, last time, so I'm going to, uh, I try and identify them, and, uh, see what exactly we've got here, so let's identify this, and see what kind of, uh, armor we've got here. We've got uh, level 5, uh, we require more strength than we have, so we're not going to really ever put it on, but it is very cool, it's very valuable, and a uh, very nice piece of equipment indeed. Let's identify this, it's a shield. Uh, what kind of shield is it? Level 5, it requires more strength than I think either of our characters have. Yeah, than either of our characters have, so we're not going to be using it. Um, let's identify this old male armor and see if it's uh, any good. Rating 16, a strength 7, again, another another strength-based item here. So, again, something else we, we won't use, but we will sell. And finally, let's identify these legendary boots, see how good they are. Um, immunity to slowed, wow, look at that, that looks really good. So, uh, sneaking plus 1, bartering plus 1, fire resistance, air resistance, and um, HP plus 22. That is going to be, well, since it has sneaking, that means it's going to be absolute, no, I don't want to equip that. Unequip and equip these pieces of shits. I'm sorry you had to have these wonderful boots on your feet for so long. Uh, we are going to send them to me, and then, uh, not to me, but to the other character. <laughs> of course, I'm sending it to myself. Uh, that's just how this game works. Um, and now we get some boots here. These ones offer... Uh, just, uh, uh, same, just one armor rating, so really nothing particularly interesting. Um, and do they do anything? No, they don't. Well, one of the things that I actually am interested in is just these bracers here, which has a, a crafting plus one. So, actually, for now, I'm gonna take these off, and I'm gonna send them, uh, to my other character, who is going to just temporarily wear them. And now I just wanna see if I can go... Um, if I can just take this and just merge these two things together. So now that I've, now that I've got that, this hammer and these things. Yes, I want to make lockpicks. Fucking finally. There you go. Beautiful. Yes, please make the lockpicks. I've been waiting for this for so long. Oh, lordy, lordy. Okay, great. So now we've got, wait, hold on. Do we have 13 lockpicks? How the hell did we get 13 lockpicks? I don't remember that. Oh my god, that is just, that's just wild. Okay, I'm going to actually send, uh, wait, hold on, what does these spells do? Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna just send these, uh, to the other character. Uh, this is something I'm just wearing to use, requires dex 8, so whenever I can, uh, level up my dexterity, that, that's gonna be used. Uh, gonna switch that for that, and then this thing, I'm gonna send it to you, which is nice. That looks good. It's about damn time. Turns out I only really need one hammer. Um, this crap over here, I can sort of just wait on it, and now let's go to our other character, and once again, equip these bracers, because, you know, the, the telekinetic ability is really good, and we can always swap it back and forth for the crafting boost, so, that is, uh, that is really, really cool indeed. So, now we can actually just start off with this. So, yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of fun with this game. Very, very fun. I mean, it's it's just so, it's, it is, it's really fun. It, it's fun to, it's fun to do. It's really, really cool. It's, it's slow. It's different. It, it, it's definitely worth checking out if you're into RPGs like this. It is super, super cool. So let's discuss uh, Jake's murder in regards to Jake Esmeralda's wife. Let's discuss the knife in regards to the book. Uh, in regards to Jake's wife Esmeralda um, on the subject of Jake's corpse. Uh, a certain Evelyn has been mentioned. Okay, she vanished in the air. Uh, she was behind the rotten business after all. Track her down, will you? The girl has some explaining to do. Uh, okay, so very, very cool. Um... Uh -huh. Very nice. So we got we got our, our things there. Now Evelyn is someone I'm not really sure who that is. I think it's 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 at like the healer's house, which is not this thing. It's 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 right here, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Cancel. Uh, I just wanted to to look. So this is this is the way I usually like to travel. It's by doing sort of uh, some lines of this. And we want to go to uh, right over here. As you can see, I've looted most of these paintings. Haven't really been able to capture this one. There are a lot of people around. Uh, they're just watching. They're watching me. I got hawk eyes. So there you go. 
Also, uh, in the back of this farm right over here, there's like a pile of dirt you can dig up. Don't do it. Don't dig that up. You will definitely regret it. I can tell you that much. Uh, so right over here, this is where we're, we're going to be going. So let's go and just check out our inventory, see if there's anything cool. Uh, we got a necklace here, which gives us teleke telekinesis and one lore master, which really, uh, really helps, I think. Well, we can we can equip some scroll some scrolls here, so we can do that. We can um, even put on I guess this thing over here. Uh, you know, we can zombie painting. I honestly, I, I don't really know. I don't really know what the hell a zombie painting is. It's not a sp it's not a spell. It's common. I mean, yeah, this isn't this isn't a spell. I should probably just trash that stuff. Well, whatever. I'm gonna sell it to. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell a whole bunch of my garbage in here. I think is is gonna be you know, what happens. Ah, okay. So we're here. Very nice. Let's go. Let's go inside and go um, to you. So hello. And let's go. Let's go right here. And uh, what do I want to do? I want to sell you some stuff. Now we got some cool books here, which is which is nice. What do I want? Well, I think I only want one hammer because seriously, having more than one is pretty darn useless. I don't want these bracers. I don't want these uh, silly things. Um, debuff perception potion. I don't really care about that. Invisibility. I mean, having potions is always such a waste. I don't like it's such a waste of room. Actually, can I? I wonder if I can just. Okay, I think I'm going to put a whole bunch of shit in this backpack because that's going to be a lot better. Uh, blind scroll. I can keep that. Uh, midnight oil scroll. I can put all these stupid scrolls. I don't care for either in there. Uh, blank water scroll, and just keep like the food. Ah, uh, this shitty piece of armor right over here uh, that I don't want. Item level six, armor rating twenty. Oh, that's actually not so bad. Uh, it requires strength seven. Oh, that's why I don't use it because it requires strength, and I'm not gonna level up strength for a long time. So okay, we can do that, which is nice, and um. No, 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 cancel. Okay, cool. So, what, what do we want? Do we want anything here? Let's see. What, what do you have in store? Uh, you've got shoot a bolt of electricity. So, that's uh, electric stuff. Six action points. Uh, willpower. Um, I think we, we're going to want to get uh, this air magic stuff on our other character, uh, which will be pretty sweet. Or maybe I should get air magic on, uh, on, on Ben. That would be pretty nice. Uh, bolt of electric, uh, yeah, all right. I mean, I can't really do that. We have, uh, we haven't learned, uh, the, we haven't learned the, the thing required to actually do it, but, you know, it is there. Is there anything with these bracers? Uh, telekinesis and lock picking. Oh, man. Yeah, I want this. I want, I want these right here. So we'll give ourselves some lock picking. Uh, it's about damn time we get some of that. And uh, we, we're just going to, I guess we're going to just match uh, match the money here, honestly. So we're going to do that. It's great. Awesome. We'll give you that. Let's get some, get some actually good stuff, uh, which is fantastic. All right. Now we can go over here. Do you have anything that you want to sell? Yeah, you want to sell that crap. And um, how much gold do you have? Do you have like a ton? This is 20, 20. Okay. So, you know, I have a little bit here, uh, a little bit there. And uh, how much is that? How much does this give me? It's gonna be 2,200 and 2,600 is what you got. All right, I am a okay with that. What is this? It's antique buckler, blocking eight percent. What the hell does a buckler do? Uh, requires strength eight. Okay, so I can't use it. So that's fine. It's going away. All right, that thing is leaving me. Requires strength eight. Oh, I'm never gonna be able to use that anyways. So that's leaving as well. We already have this thing. Uh, electrify a nearby target. So 100% chance to set stunned. That's pretty cool. So we can, I guess we can just uh, make it gold, and should we just get, uh, should we just get this, uh, this spell just, just for, just for shits and giggles, I guess? I think we should, honestly. It's worth 700, so we're just gonna balance it up. There you go. I think that's a, that's a good deal. So we'll do that. Awesome. So now we got another nice spell tome set. Electrify. We can stun a target, and then right there we can uh, do electricity that de that deals a bunch of air damage as well. We don't actually have the ability to get that stuff uh, quite yet, but it is something we are going to do. So um, now what I want to do is I think I'm going to want to go into my character, and yeah, I mean this stuff. You know, uh, you might you might think uh, like, oh, this stuff is. Uh, what do we do inside this container? You can open it. Open. Ah, I see. Okay, this is this is good. So let's put all this weird shit inside here, because I, I don't want this in my regular inventory. What is this, a repair hammer? Yeah, I'll keep that. 
Uh, these bracers over here, uh, I'll put them on because that that's just that's just really good. Telekinesis and lock picking, fantastic. Um, so now we've actually got our lock picking ability on you, which is just which is just nice. Uh, this I can actually have this to sell. That I don't want any of these stupid potions. What are these? A letter. I mean, this this, this shitty parchment. Uh, do I want that? Uh, let's keep these spells out. A moonstone. I don't really know what that is. Just in case it's of any importance, I'm not gonna destroy it. Uh, these sort of shitty books. Do I do I want them or do I just sell them? Um, universal controller instruction manual. All right, that shit's gonna just go away. I don't want. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, I don't want to deal with these little weird notes. Maybe I'll take them out eventually and sell them. Uh, let's keep the hammer, the fish. I mean, it's a fish. I'll use that. There you go. No longer hungry. Very nice. So we got that. Uh, I can just sort by you know type. And there you go. You know that looks like a nice inventory. A history of Cecile. Sure. Let's. I don't know why I'm keeping that, but uh, sure, if that's going to be... This is a nice looking inventory. I can close that crap. Now, to you, I can open this, and what can I get inside there? I don't want this potion. I don't want this. I don't want this weird book. Uh, I don't know about this this stone. I'm not going to sell it. I definitely don't want this. I, I straight up just don't want this hide. But, you know, whatever. Let's keep it. The zombie painting is a painting. It doesn't seem to do a damn thing. I don't know what that's, that thing is, but it seems... It's it's so bright. This air essence is so bright that I think it used to maybe make some kind of magic or of something. And then we can go like that. Very nice. And this dagger, I mean, it's just useless, but, you know. Uh, so there you go. Type. Fantastic. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now, where the hell is Evelyn gone? Excuse me. Where is Evelyn? Okay, so uh, let's discuss your... Uh, far beam, tell master seven names uh, she's up to. The girl flew from here like she just heard the location of Philosopher's Stone. Even less a pouch, uh, her pouch unattended. Most unlike her, to be sure. Uh, what, what about her pouch? Um, usually she keeps it in sight, very strange. She'd leave it behind. It's in the next room if you'd like to take a look. Where do you think she could have run off to? Um, I'd try her house for starters. It's not far from here. I'll mark the location on your map. Oh, thank you. Did you, did you mark the location on her map? I hope you did. Anything about Jake's murder? Let me ask about... Uh, I don't actually... I'll take my leave. I don't actually care about anything. So let's go find this pouch of hers. This this is some sort of weird inert stone? What the hell is this? Okay, so we, we just took an inert stone. That's interesting. Folded shirt. Evelyn's backpack. Oh, I see. We want. Key to Evelyn's house. Alright, that's nice. Did I take it? Yeah, I did. Alright, so that that's this pouch I've heard of. I guess so. There's like some sick on the ground. Uh, this thing, which just can't be opened. I think I figured that out uh, uh, by myself. I just can't open that thing. No matter what I do, it just uh, it's just not going to get opened. I'm sorry. I really wish it was, but it's not. So, all right. There's nothing I can particularly see here. So, okay. Well, we got that. Let's go check out where his... Or, oh, her house is this thing. All right. Well, are we, are we moving to it is my question. No, our characters aren't moving to it. That's fine. Where is her house? Her house is, uh, where? Ah, it's over, it's this thing. All right, so, uh, hello. You guys, uh, just go right over here. People are gonna start moving there, and then I can just click M, and, you know, I don't need to, I don't need to highlight that shit. So, very nice. This is Evelyn's house. Oh, very, very cool indeed. Okay, so we're gonna go see, uh, exactly what Evelyn has been up to. Ooh, very, very sneaky, very suspicious. Uh, why is my health a little bit lower than it could be? Did I eat something I shouldn't have ate? I mean, maybe I did. Speed minus one, strength, heal seven. Sure, let's use one of those. Very nice. And then, you know, we can wait for the this to be over. But, oh, there's no one in here, so we can just unlock it. Unlock. Okay. Very nice. Saving. Sweet. So let's, uh, let's go to this chest and let's see. Uh, reveal spell. Oh, wow. Use to read. Use to read. Okay. There you go. What is this? Read. Um, we who seek this hidden place, the conduit keep. We who dare to speak the spell, the goddess fear. Uh, we who step through yonder gate, the hunters hate. I must have used it correctly. Oh, we might, okay, I see. There's like, a, there's like a special way to use that. Um, Secrets of the Scrolls, volume, doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, let's go in here. 
read that. Recipe unlocked. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll take this and put it where the hell we put everything else that we don't really know uh, what to do about. Oh, wow. This thing is like... Oh, it's not that long. I thought it might have been uh, very long. Let's go unlock this. Oh, uh, it's locked. Okay. Where does she keep her key in her house? That's the real question. Okay. There's a key somewhere in here. We just don't really know where it is. So we have to just kind of look around for it. Uh, it's probably in here somewhere if I had to guess, but I don't really know. So, letters from the conduit. Oh, okay. Letters from the conduit. Let's take that. Um, let's see. Read. Okay, sign the conduit. T tells me the hour is nigh. The king will live again in knowledge. Uh, redoubt devotion reward. We shall meet again soon. Sign the conduit. Okay. Um, I really wish I could take this and just put it in there, but I can't. So, that, that just sucks. Uh, let's, uh, open that up, and I want to put that right in there. Okay, fine. So where is this key? That's the real question I'm wondering right now. I don't really, I don't see one, which is a bit, a little bit unfortunate. But I do have a lockpicking one, so, uh, I should, oh yeah, I should just be able to, because now I, that I actually have some lockpicks, should be able to, uh, no. Uh, okay, pick those up. I should be able to use one of those to unlock this, because now you have lock picking one. So let's see if this works. Unlocked. Oh, thank the Lord. Um, very, very cool. So unidentified silver ring, unidentified mail armor. Uh, well, let's let's uh, take it all. Let's go to our inventory. Let's, uh, let's go send that to you. Let's go send that to you. Let's check out what these things do. So identify this, please. Oh, what is it going to give me? Uh, level item 6 speed plus 1 poison resistance and hearing plus 2. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty darn useful. Speed is going to be useless, uh, useful on uh, our other character, uh, which is really nice. We're going to send that to bend over and this thing, we're going to identify it. See what we've got. Uh, see what we've got in there. Object identified. Uh, movement. My uh, movement. Okay, so... Um, requires some strength. Okay, so this is a nice item so that we can sell. All right, very cool. So now I can go to you and say, "Here you go, a nice ring. Look at that. Our speed is now eight, eight speed. Wow, wow, wow. And uh, you know, our hearing is even better, which is which is cool, I guess. Is there anything inside here? Is this where is this where we find? Uh, no, I still I still can't really see the the. I still can't find where this key is. If it's in this home right now, it usually is, but at this point I can't see it. So I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna say that it's not in here because I just can't see where this key would be. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, well, actually, wait, why am I looking for the key? I already did that. All right, so let's go look in the journal. All right, so, um, okay, we found a spell capable of revealing uh, Evelyn's hidden lab, but we'll have to be near the lab for the spell to work. Just as, okay, so Esmeralda suggests we focus on Evelyn. Okay, so we did that. Let's do that. Okay. Um, Evelyn's, okay, so we need to be able to use that to be able to reveal Evelyn's hidden lab. We'll have to be near the lab for the spell to work. Okay, well, um, hmm. I guess maybe if we, maybe it's this thing over here, this tombstone. We'll need to be there and, you know, reveal it. I think uh, that's a possibility. So let's go. Let's go back here. Let's actually ask you if you if you know anything about uh, about such dastardly deeds. You know there could be where would where would a hidden lab be? Would it be? I don't think it would be inside here. It might be inside there, but we'll go. We'll go ask you. I think you know. Come on, right inside. All right. Um. Let's discuss Evelyn. Um. What about her pouch? Okay. Where do you think she could run off to? Um, do you know anything about Jake's murder? No? Okay, I'll leave. Alright, so I have no idea uh, about that, but let's just go, let's just go stand near here. Oh, excuse me, I guess I used the, the wrong, the wrong thing. No, no, no. I don't want to, I don't want to dig that up. I want to just stand right there. Like that, a quick save, just in case, you know, this goes horribly wrong. And when I tried to dig up this grave earlier, it uh, did read that. Useful. Used it correctly. Okay, that no, no, that wasn't the case. All right, so we don't want to use it there. We want to use it like inside here or something. We want to use uh, this 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 stuff over here maybe. I I have just no idea to be honest where we want to use this. So it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit um, there. 
Yeah, read. I mustn't have used it correctly. Hmm, okay. So, well, now that we've done that, our journal's been updated, I think. Um, okay, we found a spell capable of revealing, but we'll have to be near the lab for the spell to work. Huh, interesting. Near the lab. A spell capable of revealing her hidden lab. We'll have to be near the lab for the spell to work. Um, okay. That's interesting. Then where would we need to be? Do we, do we have anything on side here? Uh, okay, so I guess maybe maybe if I maybe if I read that stuff again, it'll tell me where this was. I mean, there's, something, there's something over here. Oh, that's just that's just that. That's fine. Okay, fine. So let's go let's go read uh, let's go read that weird stuff uh, again. Let's uh, open that up. And uh, what was that? Uh, letters from the conduit. Read. Sign the conduit. Uh, through blood, her power flows. Through blood, her triumph grows. Uh, Hmm. I I don't really know where where that would be. So we found that note, uh, but we don't we don't know where her secret lab would be. Well, I mean, it could be it could be some underground location that I found, but uh, you know, it could be it could be many places. Honestly, I I just I, I just don't know. But I guess I'm gonna try and find that out uh, for myself because. Uh, that really is gonna do it for uh, for this game. I uh, at least uh, on my channel, but I will be playing it on my own because uh, guess what? It is actually a ton of fun. I've been really really uh, enjoying it so far. So I'm gonna say that uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. And as always, I will be seeing you guys uh, next time tomorrow for another series of this can't be real. And uh, yeah, so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. And as always, I will be seeing you guys. Next time. Aw oh, yeah. Cue the royalty free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives. Aw oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh, yeah. Have a good one.